lovely to see everybody here. You know, coming to the museum again reminds me of my school days. Not very long ago, lah, quite recently. <laughs> you also right, huh? Uh, so, you remember the school excursions? You all used to come to school excursions. You got come excursion to the museum or not? Poor thing, what school you all go? How many people here uh, came to excursion when they were in school? Put up your hand. Hmm, the rest all neighborhood school very far away one, huh? Uh, poor thing, never mind. At least today you get to come here. It really reminds me, it was very exciting that time. You know, all the students get together. Then the teacher charter a bus and then bring us to the museum, right? Uh, then they always bring us, you know, from exhibit A to exhibit B to exhibit C. Uh, but Singapore history uh, is uh, not very old, uh, huh? So some of the exhibit are uh, actually younger than my uh, teachers. I tell you, very terrible, you know. And then uh, I always, uh, when I, the feel favorite part uh, of any trip to the museum uh, is actually when the whole excursion is over uh, and you can go outside the hawker center eat wonton me. Oh, that's my favorite part. So when the teacher is saying uh, towards the end, the teacher said, okay, this history museum got the Singapore, Singapore stone. I heard, oh, ice cream cone, ice cream cone. Because my, my mind very one track one. But really, if you go here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the history gallery. The history gallery, okay, and you will be able to see the Singapore stone. You all know what that not? You all look quite stoned uh, right now. Huh? Uh, it's like Saturday afternoon. Uh, uh, Singapore stone between the 10th and the 14th century. It is the oldest stone inscription. Huh? They, they took a long time last time. Uh, olden time. Uh, they take a long time to write, you know. I've uh, got four centuries from the 10th to the 14th. They've slowly inscribed down there. Uh, they, and nobody has been able to decipher what this Singapore stone says, you know. It's in some uh, Sumatran language or something. Uh, uh, but I have a pretty good guess. I took a look at the stone. Yeah, I have a pretty good guess of what it says, even though nobody has deciphered it. Because, you see, it's a Singapore signboard, right? So I think, uh, most likely, it say, no outside food allowed, uh. Uh, that's my guess. You don't believe? Later you go to the history gallery, you can go and check it out yourself uh, and go and guess as well. It's nice to spend time here because this is a very historic part of Singapore. You know, this museum is situated at the bottom of Fort Canning Hill. You know, you can imagine, so Stamford Raffles last time, walking around, you know, by the pond or whatever. I got no pond, but I make up in my mind, you know. Imaginative, ma. Ah, the, so Stamford Raffles sit there, well, then he write letter to his relatives from far away land, you know. He said, oh, about how he's met new people here. He's kept very busy, do a lot of work. They make him work a lot. He gets quite tired. He's very homesick, eh? Sound a bit like our Filipino mate sitting by the condo, condo uh, pool, uh, texting their friend. Uh, met a lot of people here, they made me do a lot of work, very homesick, very homesick. <laughs> but the difference is the SMS you cannot see, but Sir Stamford Raffles one, uh, from 1800, you can see the original letter here at the History Museum. So you must come and spend more time here, you know. This new spanking modern building uh, is very modern looking, uh, but when you go to the living galleries afterwards, uh, quite smelly. Uh. You try already not? Very, not that kind of smelly la. It's because the exhibits are all interactive. So when you go to the food gallery, uh, you can put your nose to the nozzle. And then you pull the liver, then you can smell a lot of things, you know, the spice, la, the pepper, all the different fragrances. This is a really a museum where all the exhibits can suddenly just come alive. Oh, this tropical weather will be the death of me. Oh, you see, I see it already happened. Uh. Angmore woman with strange Angmore clothes. Uh. Ah, history really coming alive. Uh, it's impossible to get a rickshaw these days. I do hope the public transport system will improve in the future. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't like Singapore. It's just that the weather is so beastly. It's so hot and humid. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yet, yet, do wa, yeet, ka, yeet, la. Lito hai Singapore, wo, yo, my ingong. Oh, dear. It's my armor. She really does have a way of sneaking up on me. She's so quiet and unobtrusive that sometimes I even forget that she's there. You see, when she's in her uniform, she blends right into my black and white bungalow. She doesn't speak a word of English, but she seems to understand me perfectly. Don't you, Arma? Don't you? You, 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 man, you, Lego, you, go, go, come on, you, cow, hiya. And she's ever so efficient. In no time at all, she learned how to prepare delightful high tea. High tea? High tea? High tea, high tea, don't you? High tea, I'm very fast, I'm a chill One of her specialties is cucumber sandwiches with just a smidgen of tuna. You like tuna, don't you, Arma? Tuna? What? You, man, tea, see, don't you, go, la, say, quite poor, yeah. She gets so excited at the thought of those tuna sandwiches. Oh, Arma! Oh, Arma! Wait for me! Ah! Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, is this the SQ training class? Yeah. What oh, you want? Uh, Tiger ass down the hall. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You're misunderstanding me already. I don't want to be the singer, a tiger girl. I want to be a 
新加坡嘅。You can't be a Singapore girl. Yeah. Hmm. But why? <gasps> is it my hair never comb properly? Is it? Is it my my clothes never iron properly? Is it? Sorry, uh, sorry. Ah uh, no, it's because you're not thin. <laughs> On the controversy, you're quite fat. Oh, like that only, no. Ah, yeah. Don't worry. Ah, uh, yesterday I already signed up for the expression. Yesterday I take the before picture. Three weeks later, go back take the after picture. <laughs> Then can already. Wow, you're quite desperate to be a Singapore girl, huh? Yeah, aren't you? Yeah. See, what a cool inspiration. We are all so desperate. Yeah, SQ girls are the best. Yeah. You know, ah, uh, I think SQ girls are like Singapore icons. Yeah. One day, I think you will even see the SQ girl in the National Museum, man. Eh? You know ah, uh, SQ girls are really the best. You know they can find rich husband. Mm. Oh, my auntie also like that. Say leh. Uh, so ah, uh, my my mother say last time right when I was growing up, she said, look at the SQ girl, mm. learn from them, mm. be like them. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you must learn all the qualities of being an SQ girl lah. Right. Correct. Like how to put my hair up in a bun and put on blue eyeshadow. Mm. Like how to push the duty free trolley and smile. Like how to kneel down and say, "Excuse, sir, chicken feet or this?" Hey yo, I can't wait for the day when I take to the sky. I was so excited. Hey, hey, sing song, sing song, sing song. There are girls from here to Timbuktu and every island in Indonesia too. But only the girls who are a great way to fly turn the heads of those mile high guys. There were times when I'd almost given up. I couldn't balance those tea and coffee cups. I'm so glad that all my hard work has paid off. Love.